This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I fix DynaMesh shattering using Remesh by Union? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. And with this model file here, I want to go through and I want to DynaMesh this. So I want to generate a single watertight surface. Now currently, this tool here just consists of one subtool. So if I go to my tool palette and then go down to the geometry area and then go to the DynaMesh tab, in here I can set my resolution to say 1024 and then turn blur down to zero and now click DynaMesh. Now after this process completes, you'll see that parts of the mesh have been processed with the DynaMesh functionality. However, other parts have started to shatter. So I have all this triangulation happening on the bottom here and also around the top. So the DynaMesh process here has shattered when it was trying to process the model. Now this often occurs if your subtool contains too many individual geometry islands. So if I do an undo here to get back to my original model, and then if I go back to the tool palette and go all the way down to the polygroups area, in here if I click auto groups, this is going to assign a new polygroup to each geometry island that's contained in that subtool. And then if I turn on my polyframes and deactivate line, I can now see all these polygroups. So this subtool contains a lot of geometry islands that are creating the shape. And when this model is trying to be processed by DynaMesh, it's currently not able to calculate all of these all together, and then this is generating the shattering. Now you could go through and split these parts out into multiple subtools and then DynaMesh each subtool, which would then give you a result. And then you could take all those and DynaMesh that to get one single subtool that is a pure watertight mesh. However, that functionality takes a little while to go through that entire process. So what we can do instead is we can use the remesh by union function. So to use this function, we just need to come up here and activate the gizmo 3D by going into move, scale, or rotate. After we have the gizmo on our screen here, if we now come up to the customize or the gear icon here and open this up, this will give a list of our deformers inside of ZBrush. In here, we want to locate the deformer called Remesh by Union. Now what this deformer is going to do, it's going to take the subtool you have selected, and it's going to process it with the Live Boolean system, and it's going to perform a union functionality. So if I come over here and activate this, it's going to process the model, and it's now going to look at all those geometry islands, and it's going to weld them all together, giving me one single mesh. Now after you have done the process here, you need to go back to this Customize or the gear icon here and click this, and then click Accept. And now if I come over and turn my polyframes on again, and then go to the Tool Palette, and then go to the Polygroups area and do Auto Groups Now, you'll see that I'm only going to get a single polygroup. So the model has had all those intersecting pieces of geometry processed with the live Boolean system as a union operation, and this has gone through and welded all those different parts together, giving me one single mesh. Now after I have my model processed with that remesh by union function, now if I go back to the tool palette and go to the geometry area, and then go to the DynaMesh area here, if I now set the resolution back to that 1024, turn off my blur, and now click DynaMesh, the model will be processed with DynaMesh and I should get a result without all that shattering. So I hope that helps, and if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!